Yes, it's live right now. <laughs> no, you're good. He'll be back. I give it like five minutes. Yeah, so there's about a couple thousand like college referees. And so what happens is they're all some of them are in Iowa, Michigan, they're all over, so they're stuck at their house. So they can either do it with us live or they can watch the recording and do it when they have free time. You know, yeah, they can. Yeah. Just on the weekend, this Saturday, this one. And we release. A couple, we release like two or three running workouts that they can do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Saturday they can do. No, I live in West Palm. Yeah, I drove down here. So what I try to do now is hit up other places. So last week I was at my brother's. Next week I'm going to go to someone else's. And then I come here just to mix it up. Yeah. People, they get tired of seeing. Plus, it's more fun when they watch like people they know like die and have a good workout. It's, a lot of them just want to watch Wiener. Just, yeah. so we'll see. I don't know how you guys did. Man. I was impressed. I did a couple. I did a couple workouts with you guys. I tried to get one or two in. And like, because I bring my son out, he'd see it, and then we'd start working out. I like uh, how you guys use the outside. The outside is cool. Yeah, it's hot. That's awesome. I think that area is a blessing now because of all the stuff that's going on. You could fit so many people. I think the, the hardest has got to be the cleaning, everything, all the time. Send me a text if you can hear it or not. No, no, no. Two minutes. Be ready, be ready, be ready. Let's go. Two minutes. Yeah. Okay, but. I just got to see if it, they should be able to hear me from here. Can you hear? Check, check. Can you hear Wiener?
What is this? You need to switch the mirror? If you want people to hear you. It's your right side. It should work. I gave Wiener a, a microphone, so hopefully, I don't never split it up, so we'll see if it works. Wiener, say something. Say something about Lance. He said, it's not fair, you're doing this in the AC. All right, so we're gonna get started. It's uh, 12.01. We're at live at Empire Fitness. We'll get Jonathan. I'll just work out next to him, so don't worry. He hasn't talked yet in a while. So we're live at Empire Fitness doing workout number three. If you guys have followed along, you should kind of get an idea of the flow for the workout. It was posted in your email, so if you don't have it, quickly just pull up your email, and it has the workout there. We're going to try to simplify things a little bit easier this time. We're going to have three circuits with – three exercises. Each exercise will be performed 40 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We move to B, 40 seconds on, 15 seconds off, 40 seconds on, 15 seconds off for nine total cycles. And then you will take a minute rest and we'll repeat that again for two more circuits. I know it's a lot to take in. There's a lot of movements, a lot of stuff. So in those downtime between circuits, I'll explain what the workouts again. Wiener is going to be the demo master this time. Last weekend we had Lance, uh, was our workout person. He did a great job. I uh, hope he's doing this workout today. So we're going to get started with Wiener and make sure that none of you are safe. There might be a time in which I'm in your town and we're going to pop up and do a live workout with you. So make sure you guys are fit. So we're going to start with a warm up. You should have your soccer ball. Have your soccer ball. We're going to do three rounds, four exercises, 25 soccer ball taps. 25 high knees, 25 butt kicks, 25 jumping jacks, and then we'll stretch. We're going to repeat that for three rounds. So, yeah, I'm going to work out too. Don't worry. I'll be with you. So, you guys should have your soccer ball. They should be able to see it. You all ready? Make sure they say they're ready. No, the first one is not timed. It's on your own time. 25 soccer ball taps. You're counting. You should be counting faster. You're doing like one to your two counts. It's all right, man. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, butt kick. All right, butt kicks. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, guys. If you need to know it's out of the mouth. It ain't a race. Five, so we got our... Four, three, two, one, let's go. I need 25. Let's go, let's go. The long 25 with Jonathan. Let's go, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. There you go. So we're going to get some good arm circles. No, you're good. All right, we'll go backwards. No, you're good. And we're going to go across your body. We're in for a treat with you today. And you guys are going to go up and down. Up and down. All right, we're going to get back into your soccer ball taps. Your soccer ball you kicked. 
like a defender as far as he could away. 25 more. So same cycle again. Soccer ball, tap, puck kicks, high knees, gummy jacks. Let's go, tap it out, tap it out. You look like you played before. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Butt kicks, there you go. Really try to pull your heel up so it's more of a straight line rather than you guys coming back. Straight up. So straight up as if you're pulling a string. You should feel this mostly in your hamstrings. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, high knees. High knees. Nice. Let's go. Put your knees up. Hold it up. Hold it up. What? What? Nice solo fam. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. Yeah, jumping jacks. Don't play it up. Let's go. Doesn't feel like AC in here. Five, three, two, one, let's go. All right, so we're going to get back twists. The second round is going to be mostly our back. All right, you're going to turn it into a golf swing. Really try to reach far behind you as you can. We're going to go dancing. <laughs> we are in Homestead, so. All right, we're going to spread our legs wide. You're going to tap as far as you can behind, and then a big stretch back, pushing your hips forward, squeezing your butt at the top. Push your hips forward, squeeze your butt. You get one more, and we'll get back into our ball. All right, one more round. Go, get your soccer ball. Get your soccer ball, 25 more taps. Last time through, whenever you're ready. One, one, two, four, 25. Let's go, butt kick. There you go, butt kick. Same thing again. Really try to pull. You may not be able to touch your butt. That's fine. I don't want you to try to hit your butt without activating those hamstrings. Those hamstrings to be Five, engaged. Four, three, two, one, let's go. All right, high knees. Give me ten, give me ten. High knees. Yeah, you guys can use anything you want. Any sort of object that you can tap your foot to or just hold on to. Yeah, jumping jacks. Let's go, jump it out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, good. So this time we're going to get some good blade kicks. Oh. You have a partner. You can hold on to your partner as you do your kicks, or just hold on to any object you can. We'll get some of our right. Yeah, one more and switch sides. All right, and this time we're gonna go down into your plank position. We're just gonna bring a foot up, raise one arm up, 
and then switch sides. Same thing. Whatever arm or whatever leg you bring up to your hand is the hand that goes up. So if I bring my left foot, left hand reaches as far back as I can and back down. We'll get a couple each side. This next part is going to be tricky. So if you brought your right foot to your right hand, this time we're going to pull up our opposite hand. So instead of my right hand, I'm going to bring my left hand. A little bit tougher, only going to do a couple of these. So if my right foot comes up, my hand goes up. So kind of lean into that leg, push that hip out. All right. Sounds good. So you guys should be nice and warm and sweaty. We have another burpee activity. The first week we did Roxanne. Last week we did Can't Touch This. Um, this week we are going to do uh, Bring Sally Up, Bring Sally Down. Every time you hear Bring Sally Down, you're going to go to the ground. When you hear Bring Sally Up, you stand up. So there's two ways you can do this. The easiest way. Bring Sally down, lay all the way down. When you hear up, up. Same thing, repeat, bring Sally down, down. Bring Sally up, up. You want, if it's too easy for you, you feel like you're not getting a good sweat, hold the plank instead of going to your chest. So it's gonna be bring Sally down, bring Sally up. Bring Sally down, bring Sally up. All right. So we're going to reset the sound, and we'll get started. Can you restart the song? All right, so we're going to get started. Whenever you're ready, Jonathan. Again, you can mix up between if you want to go to the ground with your chest, or if you want to go to your plank. Just an activity to get you guys warmed up. It's a good warm-up to get you guys ready for some planks and burpees. Uh, so you guys can get some water and ladies. So we're going to get started with the uh, explanation of the workout. So everyone is on the same page. <laughs> it's going to be 40 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We have three stations. The first station is going to be high knees with prisoner jump squats, sit-ups. And then shoulder taps and push-ups. So I'm going to go over that circuit first. I'll go over the next one when we get there, not to 
overwhelm everyone. So the first one is going to be 10 high knees, five prisoner jump squats. So high knees, it's going to be easiest with the soccer ball. Again, you can hold it about belly button height. Just bring 10 soccer ball taps with your knees. Ball is going to go behind her head this time into a squat. And a jump. So I'll try to step back. Again, what's going to happen here is our hips are going to go back like we're closing the door of a car. Drop down, slow down. Okay, five. Bring your ball back. Ten. Five. Ten. Second one's going to be straight leg sit ups. Done this one a couple times. Ball as far behind your head as you can, all the way to your toes. Ten. For as many as you can in that 40 seconds. And then the third part is 10 shoulder taps, five push-ups. So you can either touch your same shoulder or opposite. You have 10 taps, five push-ups. 10 taps, five push-ups. If five push-ups is very difficult for you, you can go to one push-up, two push-ups, something that can get you off the ground and back to your shoulder taps. If you can't do a push-up at all, just hold the plank and continue to do shoulder taps for that whole 40 seconds. So as it's written, ABC, ABC, ABC. Okay, we won't play music to work out. So it's gonna be ABC, 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 three times. High knees, jump squats, sit-ups, shoulder taps. High knees, jump squats, sit-ups, Shoulder taps, high knees, jump squats, sit ups, shoulder taps, and then we're going to rest for one minute as I explain the second circuit. So we're going to wait for Jonathan to make sure the music is cut. No, hold on. I got to show up on theirs. Hold on. They said the music is like cutting out the feed. Yeah, hold on. Let me just make sure everyone has their timer set up. So you guys are going to go to your watt timer. You will go to Tabata. You should set it up as nine rounds. 40 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Make sure you do have your watch next to you so that when your last round is up, we can hit the timer to make sure that we're not bleeding over five minutes of rest. If it's one or two minutes of rest, cool, three minutes. I understand it is hot and you may need an extra hydration break, which is acceptable. But try to limit it to no more than three minutes uh, at most. Yep, so we're gonna get going. So we're gonna hit our timer in three, two, one, 10 seconds. So again, you need your soccer ball. Go. 10 high knees. Five prison jump squat. Try to keep your chest up. Your back nice and straight. Back to your high knees. You're about halfway there. Find our head. Ten seconds. And rest. So we're gonna lay on our back. We got fifteen seconds to rest. The next one is sit ups, straight legs. <laughs> Try to reach as far behind you as you can and touch your toes. And go. Hey. 
If you need an extra rest, it's best to rest at the top and then stay tight. Ten seconds. And rest. We have ten shoulder taps and the five push ups. Again, reduce the push ups as needed to make sure we're getting quality reps. Yep, shoulders above your hands. Here you go. <laughs> Ten seconds. It's not about speed. It's more for quality. The time under tension is going to be a lot more beneficial for you guys than just racing through these shoulder taps. Nice and easy. And rest. And rest. So if you feel yourself all over the place, just cut the reps. When your quality starts to diminish, go into your push-ups. If the quality diminishes, go back to your shoulder taps. So we're back to our high knees. Same thing here. We're absorbing the impact on the ground and we're not stomping. Everything looks smooth. <laughs> Let's go. Keep going. Three, four, five. You got eight seconds. And you can rest. We're back into our sit ups. You got five seconds. Three, two, you can get a slight rock if you would like on the way back or if your feet come up and you can use it almost as if you were trying to get out of bed. Main thing is stay braced on the way down and use that to help you get up. 15. Again. The more you use your arms, the easier it's going to be. The less you use your arms, the more difficult it will be. So you can rest. Shoulder taps again. Same shoulder, opposite shoulder. It's your preference. Mix it up if you can. Three, two, one. Squeeze at the top, try to lock out your elbows by really engaging your triceps. Same thing at the top of your plank. That should be the top of your push-up. <clears throat> if you feel yourself that only need be able to do six of these in one push-up, you can always drop to your knees and do it as well. But make sure that you're keeping your quads off the turf. And we're going to rest. So if you are doing push-ups on your knees, try not to lay all the way down. Try to keep this quad off the ground. Back to our high knees, you have one more round of these three movements. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Focus on the best squat you can do. Nobody is watching you, but Jonathan, he is making sure that your reps are of quality. Behind your neck, try to look about six feet in front of you. Don't have to look all the way up and all the way down. Six feet in front of you, gaze is perfect. And we'll rest. 
sit-ups, shoulder taps, and then we'll take a little bit of rest. Back to your sit-ups. Pointing your toes in the direction of the way you're going does help keep your body a, a little bit more balanced than always doing this sit and reach. Again, if you like using it by your chest, it's going to be a little bit easier. Farther away, a little bit tougher. And rest. Last station, back to our taps, push ups, and then we rest. Feeling good? Three, two, one. So the shoulder taps. When you are doing your taps, make sure you're not swaying your hips. Try to keep them as centered as possible. That's usually the most difficult part is making sure that our hips stay as square as they can. We're not just touching our shoulders by rocking. And rest. First one down, get some water. We are going to start the second one in a minute. So the next exercises are going to be five jumping lunges, five lateral lunges, side plank halfway with our right, and then we're gonna to switch to the halfway mark and we're gonna do our left side. And then the final one is just five jumping jacks, one burpee. So these ones go pretty quick. <laughs> You can have your soccer ball if you'd like. Again, you're gonna do jumping lunges. Trying to keep, if you can't jump, that's fine. You can just step back, making sure we get nice and standing. We're not in this position, all right? So if you do jump, make sure you get a good extension. And then you're gonna do five lateral lunges, one side. Five more jumping lunges. And then you're gonna do five lateral lunges the other side. All right, so really explode off that leg on the way up. So five and five. Side plank, you're gonna lay down. This helps with your soccer ball. And we're just gonna go up. Half on one side, switch sides at the 20 second mark, and half again. Wherever you wanna put your arm makes you comfortable, it's fine. If you wanna go, with an army camp. Five jumping jacks. Four, five, one burpee. All right, so on this burpee, it's only one, it should feel more like a dynamic push up. Up, rather than just flopping the ground and going up. If it's hard to do a push up into your five jumping jacks, again, we can do that. Don't push up burpee. Just something to keep our heart rate up. So again, five jumping lunges, five lateral. Side plank right, side plank left. Five jumping jacks, one burpee. So I'm at two minutes. Like I said, you guys burn over, not a big deal. You ready, Jonathan? Same setup, just hit back. Start in three, two, one, 10 seconds. So five jumping lunges, five lateral lunges. You can hold the ball for this one. Five, five, whatever side you choose, same side, all five. Try and bring that foot close as you can, and then back. Once you got your five, 
back to your five again. And then switch sides. And rest. So when you are doing your lunges, you don't have to go all the way down. I want you to keep the tension, so try to keep it up a little bit. A little bit tougher here than it is bouncing that knee off your pavement. So side plank, halfway. <clears throat> really drive that hip up as high as you can. You got eight seconds on this side, and we're gonna switch. Three, two, one. Switch sides, right up. Again, drive this hip as if you're pulling it as high as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Press. Five jumping jacks, one burpee. If you need to do a no push up burpee, that's great too. So three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, burpee. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Think of the floor as lava. It's hot, so get off it. Some of you may be outside of your pavement. You don't want to rest your stomach on it too long. <laughs> this one's tough, but let's keep it going. You got 10 seconds. <laughs> There we go. Three, two, one. So we're going to go back through this a total of two more times. Back to the jumping lunges. So we're going to hold our ball. If you don't, just keep your hands in a neutral position. Step whatever side you like. Really drive through that leg. These can be slow. Back into jumping lunges. Again, experiment as much as you guys want with your soccer ball. It does help keep your chest up rather than sometimes I know we might get in this tendency to get down into a bad position. So the ball helps. Three, two, Five plank, 10 seconds, pulling that hip as high as you can. Three, two, one. If you need to use your soccer ball right there. Try not to really just like press it into the ground. Use it more of a balance or a guide. If this is making you feel nothing, you can go up. Some people also, we're gonna switch sides. <clears throat> Some people may like to go on their arm. That's up to you. Experiment, do them all, figure out which one makes you sweat. And rest. Whew. Now the fun one. Jumping jacks for a piece. Floor is lava, push off aggressively. And go. One, two, three, four, five. There's not many stations that I would like you guys to go fast. This is one of them. So the faster you want to go on this one, the better. So yeah, 10 seconds. <laughs> and good, rest. If you feel yourself sluggish on the burpee, 
Just kick back that way. Get off the ground as fast as you can. Keep that heart rate up. Last round, five jumping lunges, five lateral. Two, three. There you go. Try to keep your breathing under control. The more you can breathe through your nose, the more it's going to keep your heart rate down. 15 second rest, big breath in the nose, big breath up. We have our side planks, 10 seconds, and then we have one set left, and we're going to get you guys a break. The side plank, whatever side you like, up. You should feel this all in your obliques. Try your best to do Two, one. Switch sides. On the other elbow or hand, whichever you prefer. We do have a lot of planks today. And rest. Again, big breath in your nose. Big breath up. Last one, five jumping jacks, one burpee. You guys are going to try and beat Jonathan on this one in three, two, one. Hey, 10 seconds in. You guys can. Halfway there. Try to get one more. And rest. That was a good second. Whew. I'm going to start my watch again just to try to keep us honest with our rest. If you go over, that's fine. I know that some people might have to go inside to get some water or there's some sort of distraction. Same format again. We're just going to give you three more exercises. This is going to be 10 skater hops. Imagine your soccer ball is a straight line. You're just going to go two, three, four, five. Into your five soccer ball deadlifts. Keep your hips higher than your knees. Big chest. One, two, three, four, five. We don't want to see you just picking up the ball. Really try to engage. Keep those hips high. Your knees are behind your heels. They're not in front of your toes, okay? So knees back, chest up. That's it. Knees back, chest up. Five. Ten skater hops. Five deadlifts. All right, this will help go into our clean that we did before, so we're going to get some good practice. Next one is going to be probably our most difficult movement. It is five tuck-ups. All right, so we did these last week. It's kind of a crunch. And then we're going to try to hold to that halfway mark. And then we're going to do it again. I know this is going to be hard. If you just need to grab your knees, that's fine. You don't want to use your soccer ball. You just want to get maybe like five sit-ups. And then try your best to just hold your knees. Okay? The last one is I was messing around last week and I thought this was a cool plank complex. It's a hand to foot, knee to elbow. So you're going to be in your plank position, high plank, hand to foot. One, two, three, four, and then knee to elbow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four. Okay. Try to reset each time in your plank. Go slow with these. Don't be in a rush. That one's going to be tough too. So we got a lot of core stuff and a lot of stability. 
I know it can be exhausting to such a standard of workout. Try your best. Give the rep quality. It's only 40 seconds to work by the time. Be almost done. I'm at two and a half. Where are you going? Same timer. So you're going to start your timer in three, two, one. You got 10 seconds. Skater hops, deadlifts. Yep. Right there. One, two. If you want to pause, that's also really good. If you want to kind of get it moving. Get to your deadlifts, big chest up, squeeze your butt at the top. You're really driving your legs, squeezing your butt. Or try to get one more round in. Your soccer ball, squeeze your butt at the top. And rest. So with those deadlifts, we're not lifting with our arms. We're driving our legs, squeezing our butt. Only two movements. There should be, arms should be loose. All right. Tuck ups. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to try to hold. You want to straighten your legs. That's acceptable. Or bending. Or holding. You got three seconds. Two, one, one, two, three, four, five. Try to hold if you can. A little bit more difficult to bring those arms over if that feels good. Just find some way to get, keep that core engaged. No matter how if it's, you feel like you're cheating, if you still feel it, you're not cheating. Rest. This is going to be our hand to foot. Four total. One, two, reset at the top of your plank. Don't just stand in your down dog and do it. Reset each time. And then you bring your knee to your elbow. Same thing. These are nice and slow. <sighs> Should almost get a good shoulder stretch here when you dig back into it like a down dog. Yep, knee to your elbow. If you can, try to keep that toe off the ground like a Spider-Man. That makes it a little tougher. If you need to bring that toe to the ground, that's okay. You're still getting a good crunch. And we'll rest. Two more times through, and then you're all done. So we're back to those skater hops and soccer ball deadlifts. <laughs> Stay active when you land, as if you just messed up an offside decision, and you got to quickly go downfield or upfield. Wiener doesn't understand that as a referee, but he's always doing this to get out of the way. Chest up, butt back, squeeze your butt. Skater hops again. And rest. I'll get it then. 10 seconds. The top one. Do what you can. Yeah. I know this part sucks, but. Five. Again, you can hold your knees or you can let them go. Just make sure we're engaging that core. Oh, our wiener's using his ball as a headrest. That's, uh, that's genius for once. I don't know if I ever called you a genius before, but using your soccer ball as a headrest. as <laughs> camouflage on the crowd. Oh. All right, you got 10 seconds. Try your best to hold it. If you got to grab your knees, one knee, it don't matter. Hold it, three, two, one, rest. 
Almost done. Hand to foot, knee to elbow. And we go. Nice and slow. Find a rhythm or a cadence. You want to touch the same foot, opposite foot. Halfway there. And rest. One more cycle and everyone's done. Doing this. Y'all better be doing it. Stop watching. Do it. Do it. Skater hops and our soccer ball deadlifts. Are you guys ready? One. Start to pick up the pace. You guys are almost done. Five seconds. Henry. Two more. You have a minute and 20 seconds of work. And we're all done. Yeah, this is the, the money part. Five tuck ups. Hold, you need to hold a knee. You want to bring them out, arms up, whatever you guys can do. Ten seconds. Point your toes if you can. Oh, hand rest. Last one. Hand to toe, knee to elbow. Play there. Ten seconds. Three, two, and time. Good job, Wiener. Thanks for working out. We are going to stretch, so we're going to start our timer. For eight minutes right away, get some water. I want to thank you guys all for, and ladies for subscribing and joining in on our workout. It'll be performed every Saturday around this time. I want to thank Empire Fitness for letting us come down and doing a workout here with them. If you do happen to get assignment, you're down in the area, there's always a spot to work out or if you need a recovery day, He's got all the equipment you need. Take a picture of your guys and ladies' workouts. Tag Nice Soda Fit, Tag OSI, Empire Fitness, Sweat Life, Lululemon. Tag a friend. Upload it for a chance to win. OSI. Exactly. Upload it for a chance to win some cool gifts. And hopefully you got some water. One minute in, we'll get some stretching. Share this to your friends. This was a great core workout today. Give it again another shot on Wednesday. All right, so we'll get some stretches. We're going to do a seated forward fold. 
I like to do all my stretches from the butt. Kind of get your heart rate down a little bit easier. The clock is going to help you, to be honest, with your stretching. I know that we're all guilty of those 10 minutes, 10 second stretches, and it's not really beneficial. I got 10 seconds left on this stretch. We're going to go into a half saddle. So we're just going to bring that leg behind us into a good quad and ankle stretch. I'll do this one so everyone can see. Go back. This is as far as you can get. That's fine. Can make your members do that one. Donna's in. They can. They need to work out at home. My so a website, YouTube. And we're gonna switch sides. The same thing. Try to tuck that foot behind that. Loop. The more you lean back, the better the stretch is going to be, but you do not want to feel this in your knee. Make sure it's all in your quad and maybe a little bit in that ankle. We're going to come back to our hands and knees. We're going to go into a Sphinx or Cobra. I know we did a lot of core, but we're really going to stretch out your abs and your lower back. Some people call this a seal. You can have your hands any way you would like. Forward or push out, whatever's comfortable. Uh, we're going to go to a down dog. So from here, you're going to reverse this position. Caps out and our ankles. This time, we're just going to stay on one side and just hold it. You can relax your knee or extend your knee to feel a good stretch in your Achilles. And we'll switch sides. Same thing. Good. And we're going to bring your right leg to your right hand. And you're going to sit up nice and tall. So we're going to get a good stretch in your hip and your groin. Must be really hot in here with all those people when you work out. Let's do a lot of cleaning. Let's do a lot of cleaning. All right, we'll switch sides. This will be our last stretch.
Do it again. Yeah. We'll turn off the camera and we'll do it again. Sounds good. All right. We'll see everyone next week. Thanks for stopping in. Jonathan says he's going to do this again. So, have a great weekend.